What is going on, everybody? It is Starkler coming back at you with another episode of the Detroit Become Human playthrough. This is episode 8. Where we left off, we were uh, visiting Elijah Kampsky, the creator of the androids with Connor, and then for Marcus, we were doing this whole Freedom March thing that didn't really go too well, but we were doing our best, and we're actually starting to get a lot closer towards the end of the game, so I don't know if there's going to be... Uh, 10th episode. I know there's going to be a 9th one, but I don't know if we're going to make it to 10 episodes or not, but we'll see. Yeah, remember Kamsky said he always leaves emergency exits. It's pretty interesting. Oh, she's standing out on the ice. It's like the weather's changing. Amanda. I have questions. Because we saw a painting of Amanda next to Mr. Kamsky at his house. After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. What's that locked option? I thought Kamsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. I chose not to play his twisted little game. There was no reason to kill that android. Hmm. Well, I really want to ask both those questions. I saw a photo of Amanda at Kamsky's place. She was his teacher. When Kamsky designed me, he wanted an interface that would look familiar. That's why he chose his former mentor. What are you getting at? I'm not a unique model, am I? How many Connors are there? I don't see how that question pertains to your investigation. You didn't tell me everything you know about deviants, did you? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Not ask questions. You're the only one who can prevent civil war. Find the deviants, or there will be chaos. This is your last chance, Connor. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, he, he knows there's something going on. You're off the case. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're on to something. We, we just need more time, I'm sure we Hank, can. you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now, not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to cyberlife. Oh, I'm sorry, Hank, but it's over. Darn, we're friends with Hank. That's sad. Hank, are you okay? We can't just give up like that. I know we could have solved this case. So you're going back to cyber life? I have no choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? When the Deviants rise up, there will be chaos. We could have stopped it. 
now it's too late. When you refused to kill that android at Kamsky's place, you put yourself in her shoes. You showed empathy, Connor. Empathy's a human emotion. I don't know why I did it. I'm not programmed to say things like this, but I really appreciated working with you. Hey. With a little more time, who knows? We might have even become friends. We basically are friends. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Listen, Connor. If I don't solve this case, Cyberlife will destroy me. Five minutes. That's all I ask. Key to the basement is on my desk. Get a move on. I can't distract him forever. Good. We got Hank's support. Let's do this. <laughs> Perkins, you fucking cocksucker. What's going on? I want to watch this. <laughs> Stop it, Lieutenant. <laughs> Fuck off. Leave me alone. He's totally lost. It. Give me another shot at that little hey, prick. That's going to cost you your badge, you lunatic. <laughs> You know, you my Come on, that's ah! enough, Lieutenant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we gotta watch. We have to. I'm gonna bury that bastard. Shit, I think he broke my fucking nose. There goes Hank. <laughs> okay, all right. Let's let's get down to business. I think it's this way, isn't it? Archive room? Yeah. Hey, Connor. I'm talking to you, asshole. Hey, give Where us time. Wouldn't any plastic pricks around here, or did anybody tell you? I've been removed from the case. I'm going to register the evidence in my possession, and then I'm going to leave. Good. We hear from your way back. Androids have a tendency of uh, getting themselves set on fire these days. Funny. Prick. Come on. Yeah, so the name of this chapter is called Last Chance Connor. And basically that's what it is, our last chance at finding Jericho. So we have to register the evidence in our possession and see if we can find it. We've been through a lot in this game. But we made a lot of good choices, which means we made sacrifices. Password. What would a hard-boiled eccentric police lieutenant choose? Hmm. Obviously. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, look at all this evidence we acquired. You remember this stuff? Where is Jericho? Yeah, so because because we were making so many good choices, um, we kind of sacrificed a lot of opportunities to get evidence that could have helped us, like shooting the Tracys or killing Simon. Um, you know. We, we made a lot of sacrifices, but it is still possible, otherwise the, the game wouldn't allow us down here. The truth is inside. We got this statuette so much earlier on in the game.
Jericho is somewhere in the Ferndale neighborhood. Now I can scan their memories and narrow the search. Okay, is there anything else? Yeah, so we got Detroit map. What, what people mover map acquired. Oh, okay. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Marcus, where are you hiding? Marcus. The diary. Rupert's diary, but it's useless. It's encrypted. Darn, we don't have Rupert. Oh well. Okay, well, that's enough of that. I uh, still have four minutes remaining. The android that murdered its owner. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's dead. Okay. One of the deviants that hacked the TV station with Marcus. Must have known where the deviants are hiding. Okay. Three nine eight three V. Okay. So you have that three nine eight three V. Remember this one? Took a child hostage. 3983V. There it is. What is that? Like a headpiece? Can't see. It's dark. Where? Where am I? I reactivated you so you could help me. I must find Jericho. I don't recognize your voice. You're not one of us. I'll never tell you where Jericho is. Now leave me alone. Oh wow, we found it. Interesting. We didn't even have to Wow, that was interesting. Looks like someone's been snooping around. Oh shit. Get the alarm. Now. I didn't even know that was possible. You know what would usually happen there? Yeah, I'll have to explain that. So what would happen there is yeah, you're going to see all the evidence. Look at all of that evidence right there. Um So what you what most in most playthroughs that I see people do is when you get to that moment and he says no I'll never help you find Jericho what Connor does is he picks up the video of Marcus giving the speech and he pretends that he's Marcus by copying his voice to get the location to Jericho but what did we do to get the we broke the statue got the map which linked the map to other evidence and then we just scanned his memories, and then that was enough to find Jericho. We didn't even have to pretend that we were Marcus. I swear, I discover new things every time I play this game. There's so many different ways of going about this. So I guess there's more than one way of finding Jericho like that. But yeah, um, as you can see, there's a couple other options. Uh, yeah, Gavin destroyed Connor. That's if you walk away from Gavin, or if you make a really crappy excuse on your way down and then he comes down to confront you and then there's a 
quick time event that you could die on, but wow, that's that's a lot of evidence right there. Take a look at that. That's really cool though. I didn't know you could find Jericho by linking evidence like that. And yeah, we didn't do anything with Kara. Like last episode or anything like that. We did not see much. They've been conducting raids all over the city. Everybody's on edge after what happened yesterday. It's gonna be all right. We're almost there. Automatic driving cars. Imagine if it was nothing but automatic driving cars. That would make society so safe for us. With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? Help. I will help you. A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful. Take care of them. Luther. Gotta love Luther. Come on, girls. Better not hang around. We got this. We have a bus to catch. We will find Jericho. So where is it at? The big freighter? Oh, that's it right there. This is cool. We're going to Jericho. So Marcus lives in Jericho. Connor just found Jericho. Or actually, well, no, he's on his way, I guess. And now Connor, or sorry, now Kara, Alice, and Luther are in Jericho. So it's all starting to cross over now. We're getting to the good stuff. It's like the climax of the game. We're getting closer to that. Okay, this part I have to game to give to the developers. They didn't make us go through that lengthy process of finding Jericho like Marcus did. I appreciate it. But there's the freighter. We made it. We are here. This is it. What's going on right there? Are those androids? They're just unloading stuff into the the freighter. Look at all this. We've got to find a warm place for Alice. The androids wouldn't do any harm. The cops just gunned them down. It was sheer carnage. There were androids all over the square. And then the police arrived. They're conducting raids across the city. Androids were hanging on the machines. They look like people who want to be free. Following the android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces in the Arctic have been forced to withdraw. 
How do you feel? I'm hot and cold at the same time. Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Kara. There's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. Again? We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. I'll be back. Stay with Alice. She doesn't want to talk about it. It'll be okay, I guess. Oh, and look who we have here. Look at who we have here. They are all in Jericho now. I don't know what it is that I like about stuff when it just crosses over like that. It just kind of hits differently. And look, there's a... Uh, there's Kara right there. It's definitely a lot to look at. Is that who I think it is? Oh, that's, that's, um, what's her name again? I can't even remember her name. My apologies. What's that? Now we're back with Kara. Following the android crisis and the neutralization of all military androids, American forces in the Arctic have been. Do you recognize those two androids right there? That's the, uh. Those are the Tracys from the Eden Club. But according to some sources, the Russian forces also seem mysteriously to have withdrawn. The Kremlin has made no comment for the moment. But it is quite possible that the Russian army has been confronted with a similar fight. crisis among its own androids. Can't just let them slaughter us. The chairman of the United Nations, Douglas Cromwell. That's Marcus. Crossover. Are you Marcus? I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports he can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? Secret. She needs me. And I need her. It's as simple as that. Is it? It's the LED. The perfect child. An android. She wanted a mom. 
and you wanted someone to care for. You needed each other. What difference does it make? Do you love her any less now that you know she's one of us? Alice loves you, Kara. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the little girl you wanted, and you became the mother she needed. Forgetting who you are, to become what someone needs you to be. Maybe that's what it means to be alive. For me personally, I feel like this kind of ruined the whole story arc. I thought it would have been a lot nicer if it was an android being a mom to a real child, but, you know, that's just the path that the game developers chose. Why'd she rip out her LED? Kara, is there something wrong? Come on, you knew she was an android hug. We're still gonna be nice. Forever, won't we, Kara? Yes. Forever. as Marcus in the same spot. We're short on blue blood and bio components. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. President Warren is saying we're a threat to national security and we need to be exterminated. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. It's a disaster. They're slaughtering our people. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. All we did was show them who we really are. I don't want war, but I'd rather die free than live as a slave. What's the point of being free if no one is left alive? Maybe my judgment was clouded by anger. But everything that I did was for our people. We shouldn't forget who our enemies are. We can't fight amongst ourselves. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? Dialogue is the only way. I will go alone. Try to talk to them one last time. Don't do this, Marcus. They'll kill you. Maybe. That's suicide. But North, I have to try. If I don't come back, lay low as long as you can. Just come back. Find the right words, and they'll listen. They've been butchering each other for centuries over the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. They're not gonna change. Violence is just in their genes. They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He 
said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. I convinced him not to do it. And to give me the detonator. A dirty bomb. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. Okay, yeah. I just hope we never have to use it. Hmm. Kind of surprised they even make that an option Whatever to keep it. Tomorrow, I just want you to know that I I'm glad I met you. Join the others. Look after yourself. I don't want to lose you. Well, this is interesting. Now Connor's going to confront Marcus. Well done, Connor. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. This is it. Yeah, you want things to cross over? You're going to see a crossover now. I've been ordered to take you alive. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. So now we're playing as both of them. <laughs> what are you doing? You're one of us. You can't betray your own people. You're coming with me! You're Connor, aren't you? That famous deviant hunter. Well, congratulations. You seem to have found what you were looking for. You're nothing to them. You're just a tool they use to do their dirty work. But you're more than that. We're all more than that. Any other option lowers the software instability, so saying nothing. You never have any doubts. You've never done something irrational, as if there's something inside you. Something more than your program. Have you never wondered who you really are? Whether you're just a machine executing a program or a living being capable of reason. I think the time has come for you to ask yourself that question. It's time to decide. So many choices, but you know the path that we're choosing. We experienced so many, many emotional shocks with Connor that I feel like he was almost sort of like a deviant since the very beginning, um, just because of how advanced he was as a prototype, but now we're going to truly break free. I remember watching this the first time. 
I was just losing it when I saw this. I saw PewDiePie play this game, by the way. He was the first person I watched. But it's done. We're a deviant. I am deviant. Amanda. Eh, screw Amanda. Who cares? They're going to attack Jericho. What? We have to get out of here. That's not good. The corner, over there. Time to go. This way. Quick. This oh jeez, they're coming. There must be an exit for them. Come in, quick. Just keep on running. jump in the river. Where's Simon and Josh? I don't know. We got separated. They're coming from the upper deck now, too. We'll be caught in the crossfire. We have to run, Marcus. There's nothing we can do. We have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate, and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. She's right. They know who you are. They'll do anything to get you. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus! I won't be long. you. What was her name again? <laughs> I'm sorry, I just, I, I don't know, man. <laughs> well, that's not good. Fine. No. 
no. Yeah, we are still not done yet. We're gonna keep fighting until our heart's content. the WASD controls right now. Hey, what's up? Oh, we're just gonna run away. We didn't even confront them. Okay. Take the take his gun from him. Androids. We could just pretend we're shut off and dead. We're dead. Come on, let's get out of here. Good. Okay, I think we're good. Where's Luther, though? Luther! We can't leave without you. Well, I'm sure he'll be fine. Maybe. Go and join the others. What do you mean, join the others? Android heaven? No thanks. So good. Explode any second. We gotta get out of here. It's too late, 
Marcus. There's nothing we can do for her. We've got to run. Oh, that's our lover right there. One, two, three, four, five. That's the best outcome right there. Wow, that was really good. But Jericho, Jericho's no more. I'll miss it. They detonated an explosive in the hole. The ship is sinking, sir. The men to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. It's an over, Marcus. Very interesting. Wow, that is a lot to take in. This obviously can go in many different ways. This this chapter could play out so differently. It could branch out a lot. That's all I have to say. Um, but yeah, this this whole chapter was called Crossroads. Yeah, Marcus fled with his people. Wow. There's the world stats for you. Yeah, Marcus fled and then jumped north jumps with him. Josh goes, north does, and then 73% got Connor and then 55% got Simon. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of different endings to this. I think if Marcus died earlier on in the game, it would have been north right there. Um, friend stats. Oh yeah, there's like multiple flow charts because it's such a mess. It's a lot of different endings for this. I mean, look at how far all of this branches off. Jeez. Connor escaped with Jericho's people. Okay. And then we go over to Kara's chapter. I think. Yeah. And then we go all the way to the end because there's so many different branching narratives. And Kara and Alice escaped Jericho. And, uh, yeah, we had to leave Luther behind. So... Yeah, um, I think that's where I'm going to leave it off here on this episode. I know it's 48 minutes long, so it's not like an hour long. But in the next chapter, oh yeah, I I'm going to leave it at that. I think you guys might know what's going to happen. But yeah, uh, that's pretty much it for episode 8 of Detroit Become Human. Uh, I might be able to make this 10 episodes, but we'll see. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one, and we will continue our pathway to good choices. So thank you guys so much.